my name is Joe. I work for the London Borough of Barkin and Dagenham as an assessment officer. In this video, I want to go through with you what you need to do when you receive a housing and council tax benefit suspension letter. Uh, but before I go any further, I just want to reassure some of you that when you receive this letter, it doesn't mean that your benefit has stopped or that you need to make a new application. Uh, it just means that we've put a temporary hold on your payments. Uh, in most circumstances, once you've responded to our letter, uh, we'll pay any missed payments over that suspension period to you or your landlord in the next payment run. And the only time we wouldn't make any further payments is if you don't respond to our suspension there, or you do respond and we calculate you no longer qualify. Uh, so th the main reason we suspend your payments is to avoid overpaying you any benefit that you may not be entitled to, because this would mean that you would have to pay this money back. Um, what happens is we receive notification that there's been a change in your circumstances that may mean you're entitled to less benefit. Yeah. If you take a look at your suspension layer, it should tell you exactly why uh, your benefit has been suspended and also the information you need to provide us with. Uh, but if you want to know more information, uh, please continue to watch because I'll be going through with you what you need to do if your partner moves in, uh, if you have or your partner has a change in their earnings, uh, what to do if someone moves in or out of your household, or if there is a change in any other income that you or your partner receive, um, and also what you need to do if you change address. Now we also might suspend your payments if you're in rent arrears. So if you want to know more information about that, uh, please continue to watch.